All right, it's time for the one-year follow-up on this trailer. Um, I'm not as impressed uh, as I was a year ago. Uh, some of the things I need to show you are this. I mean, the license plate is about to fall off. I have to put screws through this frame so it'll stay attached to the trailer. You couldn't put a screw in that was uh, any longer than that. Uh, this is a big issue. Under here, this, uh, this, the metal is beginning to buckle. So much so that the tire has now rubbed the fender. You can see here, it's all bent. Okay. Um, I noticed this while I was originally looking. I got some screws starting to back out. Right there. Um, what else? I want to show you guys this from the inside. Here is the inside of the trailer. That's the gap between the floor and the wall. So you can see outside. Uh, you can also see up here in the front corner. So it barely got bumped by a push mower and that ripped it open. So. All right, before I open the door, I want to show you this. This just happened today. The little foot that goes on the door, that fell off. Right here, this little rubber foot. That fell off today. I was lucky to find it. Inside. I've had to already replace this piano hinge. It ripped off, so I had to scoot it over. The plywood right here with the tires on the mowers run up and down. It's beginning to split. Uh, what else? No matter how many times I pull the mowers in, the floor still squeak, squeaks and cracks. You can hear it when I'm walking on it. But uh, here's the spot that I showed you where the light was coming through. Kind of hard to see now. And there's the spot where the push mower bumped the metal. It was, I mean, it was just barely hanging on. They had caulk. They had caulk. That's what was holding it in. You know, I don't, I don't like that. But the biggest problem that I have, and I'll show it to you in photo form, is the way that it hooks up to the, to the truck. The receiver hitch, although you wouldn't notice it by looking at it, is it's not square it's not centered when i hook up to the truck this side of the trailer is farther over than that side it's off by almost two inches and i'll show you in photo form But uh, after a year of use, I'm not really through too thrilled with this. I mean, it only carries two zero-turn mowers, and uh, that's just around neighborhood streets. Another shot from underneath. Uh, you can see where the axle has come up and struck this right here. Um, all the paints were coming off. You can see right here, the axle has actually come up and struck the underside of the frame. It's obviously and significantly closer because this leaf spring looks like it's almost flat compared to the leaf spring on the other side. <laughs> 